No More Heroes 3 on the Nintendo Switch is a gorgeous looking game. Just look at that scenic view. The water looks next gen with all of those reflections. And the streets, they're filled with people and traffic. It just feels so damn alive. Okay, that's just me being sarcastic. The game looks horrible. The graphics remind me of Paperboy and I'm sure the Sega Dreamcast would have no problems running this game. But here we are, the third installment of the series and visually, it's not a big leap from the 11 year old game No More Heroes 2. Now the soundtrack, I will give it that. It does have a pretty decent soundtrack. Just listen to this. It's a pretty high intensity action packed game when it comes to the combat, so since the game isn't too crazy on the graphics department, it should give us a solid 60 FPS, right? Nope, not really, it's not a solid 60 FPS. In fact, during free roam it's targeting 30 FPS. And even with that frame rate, it's not really stable. You can see the drops here into the mid 20s. The game also has a ton of mini games and they also target for some reason 30 FPS. So you can mow the lawn in this particular mini game and then there's another one where you pick up garbage. All of this at an amazing 30 FPS. But of course, it's still not stable. You still get drops as you see in the FPS counter. Yeah! Okay, so with all that bad stuff, at least there's one thing the game does well and it increases the frame rate target to 60 FPS during the combat. Now you're very rarely gonna see that 60 FPS, most of the time it's in the mid 50s and there's even drops into the 40s. But at least they try, they try to give us a 60 FPS for a game that should run 60 FPS. All the footage and testing I showed so far is in dock mode and in portable mode the game will also pretty much perform the same way but of course on a smaller 720p screen now for the rest of the video I have a bit more footage with the frame rate analysis and you'll see that it's pretty much all over the place so this game's clearly not optimized that well on the Nintendo switch if you're a big fan of the series I guess you should still pick this one up it's gonna be pretty familiar to what you're used to in terms of gameplay so you might enjoy this thing but yeah like I showed you there's really not much eye candy here anyways before you click away check out some more footage and don't forget to smash that like button and subscribe to the channel Blueberry! Triple! 